Hello everyone, this is Rose from Bighorn Library. I want to share our November 11th Remembrance Day bulletin board with you. Bonnie made that giant poppy a couple of years ago and we've used it most years in November as part of our display. And this year, the Youth Club made these wonderful We Will Remember Them posters. These are strips torn out of all sorts of sources, paper stock that we have in the back and magazines and things that the kids printed out. And then uh, they've taken these really lovely poppies and used some glitter glue to trace them and make a pretty display. And I'll just take a step back here so you can see the effect of the whole thing. I think it works out quite nicely indeed. Now, for the younger children, we've got a different craft. This one is just a little flag, and we've replaced the maple leaf with a poppy. You don't really want to stick pins onto small children, so this gives them something they can hold during Remembrance Day services and take part in, uh, in the remembrance of the soldiers. It's just uh, a piece of white paper folded around and glued together to make it easier to attach it to whatever stick you might use, and then a cutout, simple cutout of a couple of stripes of red and a poppy shape. The book I'm choosing to share with young people this week is called The Tree in the Courtyard, Looking Through Anne Frank's Window by Jeff Gottesfeld and illustrated by Peter McCarty. It's the story of Anne Frank, greatly simplified and told from the point of view of a beautiful tree that was outside the window of the annex that she and her family stayed in. It's a dark subject and difficult but I feel like Anne Frank makes children feel a connection to the things that happened in the past because she was a child herself. So it's a bit of a way of uh, entering into that very difficult conversation with kids from a point of view that they can appreciate. Wonderful book to share. Another thing that we're sharing in our community is this Canada Remembers Times. I got these by writing to Veterans Affairs early in the autumn and they sent out a couple of bundles of them to me. They didn't cost anything. And it's uh, French and English, English on one side, French on the other, with uh, articles from soldiers who served from all parts of Canada. It's really interesting, uh, nice to read, and we're actually going to take these down to the Legion and hand them out on, uh, on the day of the services here on Friday. Uh, Actually, any time that you're looking for something to do, Veterans Affairs has a wonderful resource right online that you can find to help you out so, with some ideas of things you can do for Remembrance Day. I know it's not an easy topic to do programming around. I will talk to you again soon. See you next time.